Hey, what's up, movie girls, and welcome to yet again another Wednesday movie reviews. Cinema Thursdays, and as promised, today's Cinema Thursdays is on The Conjuring, which is directed by Saul's own James Wan. Um, the cast includes Vera Farmiga as Lorraine Warren, Patrick Wilson as Ed Warren, Lily Taylor as Carolyn Perrin. Ron Livingston as Roger Perrin, Shanley Caswell as Andrea, Haley McFarland as Nancy, Joey King from Dark Knight Rises as Christine, Mackenzie Foy as Sydney, Cindy, Kyla Deeper, don't know how to pronounce it. As April, Nate Seaman as Rory, and Joseph Ishara, then I'm pronounced that either, as Bathsheba. Now, this movie is supposed to be based on a real story, but, um, I'll tell you right now that the most real that it gets is that there was an actual Lorraine and Ed Warren and the family might have actually existed in real life, but it doesn't mean that the hauntings in this movie was necessarily um, real um, and that the hauntings in this movie were actually based on real hauntings. Um, and that, in that sense, it's kind of like a um, sci-fi paranormal hunters type thing. Um, but anyhow, um, the story goes along as the following. Um, no, not the movie, but anyhow. <laughs> Um, Ed and Lorraine Warren are paranormal hunters uh, that have been called in after a, within a few weeks of the moving into a new house by the um, uh, parents um, uh, when they begin her experiencing some unusual things that can only point to hauntings. Things include such as uh, seeing a spirit of a boy, Rory, um, who died a long time ago in a mirror. Invisible hands knocking on wood. Um, and pulling sheets off. And eventually it gets to um, attacking people, like, uh, causing burn marks on the mother's uh, skin w during the night. Um, uh, and a bit of a spoiler near the end, it gets as much as to the point that the mother is possessed by uh, the witch to murder her own child. Spoiled uh, anyhow. Um, and so 
often after a lot of hauntings starts around the house. Yeah, the warrants are called in. Uh, to investigate, and uh, upon and they discover that the reason why for all these hauntings is that bit of a spoiler alert here, but anyhow, uh, that there was a wedge, a converted wedge. Um, that lived on the grounds a long time ago, and she tried, she tried to murder her children as sacrifices to Satan, curse the lands, which, due to that, uh, people who lived on the lands after her, when her land, which was a whole lot bigger was divided into many places for houses. There were suicides that happened to the people from after presumable hauntings to the people who lived on the other places of the lands. Um, after her. And before the witch died by hanging herself from the big tree seen also in the movie poster for this movie. Um, um, did all that, declared her love for Satan, and hung herself um, by gallows over that tree. And Ever since, her ghost has been haunting the big property that she once owned. Um, and... Um, I mean... And it means to... <laughs> the intentions of this... Ghost of the witch is not as specified whether it just means to scare them off or uh, kill them all, but um, it goes. But as I said in this previous spoiler alert. That it goes as far as to possession of the mother. She was shown to be the weakest link of the family. Yeah, so easy target for the um, ghost. Um, and once possessed the mother, it tries to kill one of the daughters. So. Um, in a way, it's a sort of build up from little things, um, such as knocking three times, except um, the visible hands missing with the sheets. Um, the witch's ghost being seen on the gallows, etc. to uh, building up to that witch. Um, would require an immediate exorcism. Um, uh, anyhow, um, as far as the movie being claimed to be scary. I would say that it's not really scary, it's more like uh, multiple one second shockers like uh, those seven movies where you, um, uh, where the camera is pointing at a mirror and then suddenly goes behind the um, a character that at the point is living um, and then suddenly shriek and stuff. Like, 
shop. Oh, like one second shocker. That I would say would be like that. Like many places within the movie. But sure it's a good thriller. Um but I wouldn't say that I wouldn't go as far as to say that it's a actual horror movie. Um and not even really scary. Um, also, I suppose the true story goes, as I explained earlier, um, it's the only parts that are probably a true story is about those characters, uh, the family and the Warrens, um, having had existed at one point or another in real life. That's probably as true as it gets. And... Otherwise, um, yeah, it's all like a sci-fi paranormal hunters type thing. Um, when it comes to the um, supernatural stuff in it, but anyhow, it is a good thriller, even though. It claims on being based on a true story is not to be very hopeful about uh, which parts are based on a true story, and it's not really scary and based on. And it seems like a never sci-fi paranormal hunt or something, but anyhow. Uh, weighing the stuff uh, against the thing, against the fact that it is a good thriller and it does keep you on your, the edge of your seat. Um, I would say that due to this, that this review that are looking for a scary movie that. They have hauntings based on a true story. Are going to be very disappointed, but um, it is, however, a good thriller. And due to this, I'd have to say that on a scale of one star being poor and five stars being excellent, I'm going to have to give this movie. A yeah, four point five stars. Um, I think as how good a thriller it is, but it's also kind of for, but mainly due to the fact that it's kind of a, a rip-off of, of yeah, sci-fi paranormal a hunter type thing and when it comes to the paranormal and stuff with the characters of the Warrens um, but still a very good Thriller, so uh, these facts, as I showed, does not uh, really lower the rating very much. That's all for today, moviegoers, but I'm going to try to get some um, new stuff out. But there might be a change in schedule uh, for the next school year, which starts like tomorrow. And you know, when I figure out how that's going to go, let you know. And you'll see more reviews soon, uh, later on, but the schedule might have to change. Anyhow, have a good rest of the day rest of the week, and until then, catch you later, movie girls. Bye.